Welcome back everyone. So in today's video, I want to go over some of the images that I've been photographing for July, 2023. This is not a stock photography earnings report. This is just a, uh, a review of the images that I've uploaded so far on the stock agencies. And this is also a submission to the challenge that Matt Fowler put out not too long ago. The challenge is basically a stock photography challenge to upload at least 30 assets to any of the stock agencies and yeah that's pretty much it as challenges go that's a pretty straightforward one anyways july has been a very prolific month for me one of the most prolific since i i don't know started stock photography at least in the last i don't know four years or so but yeah i photographed a lot of different categories and i want to touch base on a few of those so the first topic i want to cover is that of mental health so these first two images are of my daughter and, you know, so I, I basically told her to give me a few different expressions, right? Sad, happy, bored, and all of that. And she she just banged it out like that without hesitation. It, it's amazing. The first one you can see here, she's, you know, looking looking a little bored, um, you know, nothing to do. Yeah, so she looks pretty bored there. On the second one here, I would say she looks a little concerned, a little down, sad. This tries to depict the fact that mental health is also present in kids, right? It's it's not as prevalent as in teens or adults, young adults going into adulthood, but um, it's it's still there. And it's also important to depict that in star photography, hence why I did that one. And moving on. So we come on to this next image and it's just me holding my wife's hand and, you know, it's a typical comfort move, you know, somebody, you know, holding your hand in a time of need. And that can depict a variety of things, you know, like loss, um, grief, all of that. All right. So these next two images are of my wife and, well, she was the model. And she's also doing, you know, the one we got like a pondering type image where she's like looking out the window, you know, contemplating things. And the next one here is just her, you know, looking down, glasses off, things are bad. And, you know, don't be afraid to use yourself as the model. And as you can see in these next two images, I really don't shy away from putting myself in front of the camera when I don't have anyone else to do so. Um, but yeah, definitely use yourself as the model, right? Um, but yeah, as you can see, I, I did a few images of myself. Um, a similar look as the images before. Um, one, you know, where I'm, I'm looking off into the distance, pondering things, and yeah. So the next category I want to talk about is science, representing science in stock photography. And there's a variety of ways that you can represent science, but um, I use what's available to me and I have a bunch of flask and beakers and pipettes and stuff laying around. So I basically put on a lab coat, put on a glasses and, you know, played around with the the equipment and these are the images that I was able to obtain. All right, so let's move on to the next topic. And this is something that I, I tend to shy away from doing, but <laughs> whenever the opportunity presents itself, I will do it. And that's food photography. So this first image is just of a cold cut um, turkey sandwich. And so it's it's on a, um, a bamboo cutting board. The lighting setup is it's fairly simple, actually. So I'm using an LED light off to the side. I have two LED lights, um, one off to the right and one off to the left. And I basically adjusted the color temperature on the one to the right to, to make it a little bit warmer in this particular image. And I thought it turned out well. That orange glow could almost be the glow of like a toaster oven or something like that. Yeah, I thought that one turned out fairly well. And you can see the camera settings off to the, to the right there. And moving on, these are just like, you know, store-bought granola bars. And I they're chocolate chip granola bars. 
and they're also on bamboo cut and board. Yeah, this was natural light. So I just put it at the, the windowsill and used the natural light that was coming in and, and photographed it like that. And you'll see from this next image, um, so I, I'm basically shooting towards the window and, and that's what the green and stuff is in the background of this image. These were all done on the same day, by the way, that's why the bamboo cutting board is so prevalent. So on this next image, um, I just photographed a bunch of lime. Yeah, so food photography isn't something that I think I'm particularly good at, but I will do it on occasion. It's always good to dip your toes into something new every once in a while and into something that's unfamiliar just to, you know, broaden your, your skill set. So next is kids using technology. And this is obviously something that is close to home. I have kids and they use technology, so... They are uh, worthy stock subjects. And by the way, these are not posed images. I just take it while they're doing their thing, right? So while they're using the device candidly. And this other one is one that I, I really like. I used uh, the light of the tablet to, to lit his face. And this was taken at night. And I basically turned off all the other lights so it would be really dark around... Um, around him and then just use the illumination of the the screen to lit his face and i thought that one turned out fairly well i did have to um boost the uh, uh, the light around his face nor on his face up a little in in post so if you've seen any of my stock photography earnings video you will know that along with mental health prescription drugs is something that i photograph all the time and it's no different here. <laughs> uh, whenever the opportunity presents itself to me or I feel inclined to do so, I will uh, um, take some photographs of prescription drugs. It's something that's, it's one of those things that's also very prevalent and it's always in conversation and relevant in society. Yeah, this one here <laughs> was a lot of work um, trying to remove everything all of the uh, the private information because there was a lot of different bottles and in the end I actually cropped it down a little because there was so much more I had to remove I was like yeah it's taking too long so I just basically cropped it to to what I've already removed so this next category involved me taking photographs in public and which is something I try not to do unless I'm like on a paid assignment or something but I was in a store and I had the uh, Olympus EM1 Mark II on me, which is a fairly small camera, um, relatively. Uh, <laughs> and, you know, my wife was going through some clothes and I thought that would make a good stock photo. So I was like, you know, just do that again. And I just took the image of her kind of sorting through the, the clothes and a couple of, um, couple of them where she's looking at the, the price tag. Um, yeah, those turned out well. Problem was, though, I failed to realize that my, my shutter speed was at 1 400. So basically, that meant my ISO, which was on auto ISO, uh, kicked up all the way to 6400. And if you know anything about camera sensor size and noise, you will know that 6400 on a uh, micro four thirds sensor is going to introduce a lot of noise and needless to say it did but what saved me was um, the new enhanced feature in Lightroom and that did a phenomenal job at removing the noise I was I was shocked actually when I, I saw how good of a job it did and the proof is in the pudding right it, it was a sec a accepted to Adobe stock and Shutterstock, and those are my my bar setters, right? If they get accepted there, they will get accepted anywhere else. Yeah, give that a try. Give that enhanced feature a try if you haven't already. I'm not that worried about a lot of noise in my images anymore because of that feature. So images that I might have shied away from taking, I will take them now because I know I can reduce the noise later on. All right, so moving on to another topic that's ever present and 
relevant in society, and that is of uh, vaccines and, well, vaccination. So images that I've previously done on vaccines have done very well for me on the stock agencies. They're, I would say, my second highest gross in category, and that's why I oftentimes do more and more of them because they do sell for me and sell fairly well. All right, this next category is, is fairly self-explanatory and not much to talk about, so I'm just going to show the images here. All right, so moving on to personal care and hygiene. Um, so if, if you watch my last stock photography earnings video, you will have seen the, uh, I thought it was hilarious, hilarious segment of me talking about how I kind of screwed up when I was cutting my hair. And basically these are, these first two images are a couple of those, are, are a couple of them from that series where I, you know, I made a, a big old ball spot in my hair. And these next two images I featured in a video I did um, on using ChatGPT to title and keyword your images. And it's just my wife holding a, a roll of toilet paper as she's simultaneously trying to open the, the bathroom door. And, <laughs> you know, I, I've never really seen these images at anywhere out there on the stock agency. So I thought they were or they are fairly... Uh, unique. All right, so moving on, this next category I just titled miscellaneous, and it just has two different um, kinds of photos. And this this first one is just an image of a bunch of uh, sewing pins, just colorful sewing pins. And, you know, I took this image with no expectation of it selling, and I put it up on Adobe stock, and boom, it sold. It's crazy. <laughs> That goes to show, you know, if, if if you're ever thinking you should take an image of something, just take it and, and put it up. If it doesn't take you much time or effort to do it, do it. And this next one of my daughter eating a watermelon is one that is doing quite well on Adobe stock. And it might be, I don't know, I, I don't know why it's doing so well. I, I, I might need to do a search on whether or not this... Um, there's a lot of kids on Adobe stock eating watermelons. Um, but, you know, it kind of embodies summer, you know, that that freshness, that hot summer day. You have a nice piece of watermelon or whatever, something that's refreshing. But, yeah, I thought these images turned out well. And apparently the buyers also think so because they they're flying off the shelves, so to speak. Anyway, that does it. I hope this video wasn't too long. So that basically highlights some of the images that I've been photographing for July. And in about a week or two, I will put out my July earnings video and you will see how much or how much I didn't make on these images. All right. So that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope that you got something out of this video. If you got anything... You know, hit that subscription button, ring the notification bell so you know when I put out a video and give this video a thumbs up. Until next time, have a good one.